Turtles race with beaver. Long ago, Turtle lived in a beautiful pond. She was very happy because this pond had everything a turtle needed. The water was just deep enough, there was plenty of food to eat, and there were lots of nice rocks just above the water for Mashika to, run, to sun herself on. One day, as happens every year in the north, winter began to come to the land. As she had done year after year, Mashika swam to the bottom of the pond and buried herself in the thick mud. While Mashika slept for the winter, another animal came walking along. It was Muck who had been looking for a new home. This will be perfect, said Muck, once I make some changes. Soon he began doing one of the things Muck do so well. Chomp! Chomp! went Muck as he took down one tree after another to build a big dam. He worked hard for many days, and as he did, the water got deeper and deeper. After finishing his dam, Muck made himself a fine lodge of mud and sticks, then settled in for the rest of the winter. He was very happy. The moons came and went, and spring returned once more to the land. The birds sang, and the ice melted away. Then Mashika woke up, crawling from under the mud. She began to swim toward the surface of the water, but she had to swim higher and higher and higher and higher. By the time Mashika made it to the surface, she realized that the water was four times as deep as before. Her pond didn't look the same at all, and all the rocks she loved to sun herself on were under the water. One side of the pond stretched as far as her eyes could see. On the other stood a huge dam. Not too far from that was a big round lodge. Then Mashika heard a loud whack. She turned to see where the sound had come from. A strange animal was swimming toward her. It was Muck. Who are you? asked Muck. What are you doing here? I am Turtle, said the Mashika. This is my pond. I have lived here my whole life. Your pond, said Muck. This is my pond. Look at my wonderful dam and my splendid lodge. This is a Muck pond. Yes, Mashika said. I can see that you've done lots of work. Couldn't we just share the pond? There's plenty of room. Ha! Muck laughed. I will not share my pond with any little Mashika. But I will challenge you to a race. Whoever can stay, whoever loses, whoever wins can stay, whoever loses must find a new home. Mashika didn't want to race. She could see that M she could see that Muck, with his big flat tail, was probably a much faster swimmer. But this pond was the only home she knew. I agree, Mashika said. We will race. It was decided that the race would take place the next morning. At first light, the two would meet on one side of the pond and race to the other. That night, Muck told all the other animals about the race. Word began to spread throughout the forest.
Ojedmo told Wobozo. Wobozo told the Wakwisha. Wakwisha told Moowe. Moowe told Saksi. Saksi told Mozo. Mozo told Mako. Soon, every animal in the forest knew. Before first light came to the land, all the animals of the forest gathered around the pond. As they waited for Mashika and Muk to arrive, many chose sides. Most of the smaller animals, such as the Wawab Gnoji, Chipmunk, and Wobozo, sided with Mashika. Most of the bigger animals, such as Moe, Mozo, and Mako, sided with the Muk. As they waited, they began to sing, Turtle, beaver, turtle, beaver, turtle, beaver, Mashika, muck, Mashika, muck, Mashika, muck. They sang even louder when Muck came swimming over from his lodge and Mashika popped up from under the water. Mashika, muck, Mashika, muck, Mashika, muck. Mashika and Muck took their positions on shore. Mako lifted his big paw into the air. On your mark, get set, go! Splash went Muck, leaping off from the shore. He was certain he would leave Mashika far behind, but Mashika had gotten an idea. Before Muck hit the water, Mashika stretched out her long neck, opened her mouth, and bit into the end of Muck's tail. Flap, 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 went Muck, swimming as fast as he could. But as fast as he went, Mashika was right behind, holding on hard to his tail. The other animals kept cheering, but now some of the bigger animals were cheering for Mashika instead of Muck. Mashika, Muck! Mashika, Muck! Mashika, Mashika! Soon, Muck was halfway across the pond. Even though Mashika was still holding on, it looked as if Muck would win for sure. Then, Mashika bit a little harder into Muck's tail. Flap, 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 flap! Muck swam even faster! Mashika still held on. Now more of the animals were cheering for Mashika. Mashika, muck! Mashika, Mashika, Mashika! Now they were almost to the other side. Muck seemed sure to win, but Mashika bit as hard as she could into muck tail. Crunch! <laughs> Yow! yelled Muck. He flipped his big flat tail up and out of the water. When his tail reached its highest point, Mashika let go. Whee! sang Mashika as she flew through the air right over Muck's shtiguan. Kathunk! Mashika landed on the far shore and crawled across the finish line. Mashika had won the race. All the animals cheered. Mashika, 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 Mashika. Mashika was very pleased, but she could see how sad Muck was. I would still be happy to share my pond, she said. But Muck was so embarrassed, he left without another word. Over time, Muck's dam fell apart and the water got shallower and shallower. Mashika had back all her wonderful rocks in the, to sun herself on. As for Muck, he did find a new home in a pond not too far away. In that pond, though, there were also there was also another Mashika. Can I share my pond with you? Muck asked. Of course. The other Mashika said.
And so the two of them lived there happily through all seasons to come. The end.